Well, the Tennessee Valley Authority says it set a new preliminary peak power demand record this morning. It sure did. No surprise, right? Because of these cold temperatures. New Chi 11's Angela Daniels spoke with the authority about power demand and where we are heading as another round of winter weather is expected over the next few days. Angela? Sarah and Casey, the TVA says all of its equipment performed, quote, like the company wanted it to during peak demand this morning. A spokesperson for the authority says it had a demand of more than 34,500 megawatts at that time, beating the old record by over 1,000 megawatts. Now, this is a new preliminary peak power demand record, and the TVA says it was still several steps below where it was during December of 2022. We were not even at a stage where we were requesting conservation measures. The tips that we were putting out were, were more for, for consumers and for us to help beat the peak. We, have, we did not even reach a step where we said, we need you to do this. It was more of a, if you are able, we would like you to do this. Brooks says that rolling blackouts are still a possibility, but voluntary energy conservation will help prevent them as another Arctic blast is expected to hit the region over the next few days. We never say never, but we say we can say for certain that we were in a good position going into this morning's uh, record peak power demand, and we see no reason that that would change over the next four or five days. Now, after the rolling blackouts in December of 2022, Brooks says that the TVA invested $123 million through 3,400 different actions to help get ready for the weather that we're experiencing right now in the Tri-Cities. Brooks says that every little bit of energy conservation helps, especially when everyone who can pitch in does. Now, Bright Ridge did send a statement to News Channel 11 that said, quote, remember, common sense steps you can take to lower home heat heating cost and electric usage at peak demand typically from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. end quote.